Morning, babe. Morning. <sighs> Are you going to the gym? Yeah. Why? When was the last time you used it? I don't know. That's the point. I've been meaning to get back into our routine. Hmm. What finally got you off your butt? Maybe it could inspire me too. You want a cup of coffee? No, just head shy. I'm good. Heading into work early? You were up quite late last night. <sighs> Finished the presentation, so I don't have to rush now. Don't have any meetings this morning. I let the team know I'll be in a little later. Wow, going in late two days in a row. That's some friendship you have with Rev. What's on the menu this morning? Another full English? I think eggs and toast will do. Guess I'll wait for Rav to wake up. Did I just hear someone taking my name in vain? Morning. You're already showered? What time did you wake up? Five. Couldn't go back to sleep. Went for a swim. I was checking my emails waiting for you to finally rise and shine. Ready for day two at the conference? What's the session? Making money? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Are there more sessions tomorrow? Mm-hmm. It finishes up Sunday. I've got a plane to catch tomorrow, so I think I'll just call it a day today. Man, I wish I could go with you. Sounds like a great networking event. Uh, I'm thinking of making egg white omelets. Mira, did you want any? I'll make myself something later. Rav? Egg white omelets sound good to me. Don't you have to get to work soon, though? How can I help? Figured I could spend some more quality time with you, given how little I've seen of you. I've basically just left you with Mira. <laughs> Uh, don't worry about breakfast. I got it. Eggs are my specialty. One of the few things I can make. Hmm. What else? What else what? What else can you make? Oh, I made this awesome butter chicken the other night. I already told Rav it was out of a bottle. Mira. <laughs> I still had to prep the chicken. That counts as cooking. Did it taste good? That's what matters. It was actually pretty decent. Glad to know I can hand over the kitchen to Ahmet now and then. Did you get that presentation done? I got up around midnight to get a glass of water and saw the light on in the den. Yeah, it's done. Meetings later this morning. How many egg whites? What? I've got pretty good at guessing how many egg whites I pour out of the carton. Three, four, five egg white omelet. It's pure protein, you know. You can have as many as you want. <laughs> I'm good with two. Thanks. Sure? Sure. Don't ask me for more later. This kitchen won't reopen. Not that hungry, to be honest. And they have a pretty decent breakfast spread at the conference. I'm off to the gym. Be back in 30 minutes, give or take. Have a good workout. Oh, I forgot. Hey, you want some goat cheese? I thought you said this was supposed to be pure protein, but sure. This is the trick to making egg white omelets taste decent. Hey, Amit. Yep. How's work going? It's good. I mean, I may not be making multi-million dollar deals on the regular like you, but I'm doing okay. Just need to land a couple of high profile deals. I should be up for a promotion soon and a raise. Are you good though? Bro, we knew what we were signing up for. Long hours, late nights. Actually forget that. All-nighters, <laughs> surviving on coffee and energy drinks. We all knew it. Yeah, we also talked about how we wouldn't let our jobs define us. We'd find work-life balance. We wouldn't become our parents. I mean, our parents worked hard to put us through school, working two, three jobs. But then they weren't really around that much. First of all, that was my parents who worked three jobs, not yours. Your dad had a good gig working in Cutter, and your mom was educated even if she was a stay-at-home mom. It was my elementary school-educated parents who worked factory jobs to get me through school. I'm doing this because I cannot let them down. I need to pay them back by being successful. But is that really what you want for you? What's this about, man? What's going on with you? Don't know. I've just been reassessing things. I get this is what the job is right now, but is it worth it? Bro, are you kidding me? This is the life. Nice house, nice car. Having all the things our parents could never even dream of. Why not? What sacrifices are you talking about? I don't know. Remember that project we did in high school? 
when we had to come up with a charitable organization, and we want to start a mobile library for street kids in New Delhi. What about it? What about starting a project like that? <laughs> Are you serious? That was just some school assignment. I mean, by all means, do some charity work on the side, or give money, or better than that, get your boss to sign off on a big company donation. Get yourself some brownie points at someone else's expense. These white people love doing charitable work in places like India anyway. You're missing the point. No, I get it. Ravioli, you always had that good Samaritan streak in you. Which is fine, you could afford to think about these things. For me, it's easy math. I work my ass off now, eventually make managing director, and then I'm set. Aren't you missing out right now, though? What do you mean? I don't know, take Mira. Is that what she wants? How do you know what Mira wants? <sighs> okay, Ahmed. Mira and I are good, man. As long as no one interferes. Hi. Good workout? God, I am so out of shape. Ugh, I'm gonna feel it tomorrow. I'll get ready and head out. Here, Mira, I'll clean up. Huh? What? No, no, don't bother. Where do the coffee mugs go? That cupboard behind you. Second shelf. Look, no, oh. It's fine, just leave them. Are you just very particular, or is this like one of those OCT things? I just like knowing where things go. Like, when I open that cupboard, even if I'm not looking, my hand will know where the coffee cups are. I know it's weird. No, not weird at all. It's quite cute, in fact. Well, I don't think I would call it cute. It makes Amit mad when I keep telling him to put things in place. But then every now and again, he gets a swim and he'll organize the whole pantry, sorting things in some way that makes sense only to him. Except that totally messes with my system. And so? Nothing. Slowly, the pantry goes back to how I use it. Because frankly speaking, I am the one who uses it on the daily. Babe! Have you seen my phone charger? Check the socket near your bedside table. Got it! Got the car keys, laptop bag, charger. Okay, I'm off. Wait. We're supposed to check out the exhibition opening tonight. At the AGO. Which exhibition? I told you about it last month, when I got the tickets. You put it on your calendar. The Femme Noir exhibition by Micheline Thomas. Babe. I'm sorry, I did put it in, but there's no way I can skip this meeting tonight. Can't you make an exception? I've been really looking forward to this exhibition. She's supposed to be an amazing talent, a rising star, and it's close. The AGO. We can even go a little late. Can't you wrap up your meeting a little early? I can't. It'll be at least 10 by the time I can leave. Realistically speaking, more like 11. So there's no point in trying to book something on your work calendar a month in advance? Unbelievable. I think I've heard of this artist, Amit. She's got her studio in Brooklyn. Oh, neat. Her studio isn't far from my place. Exhibition looks really interesting. Good to know, Raf. I was just saying, she sounds cool. Could be a fun event for you to check out. With Mira. Unwind a little. Flirt with that work-life balance. <laughs> you know what, Raf? Why don't you take Mira to the exhibition? Sounds like your kind of event anyway. And you both obviously love flirting with work-life balance or whatever. What? No, I'm, I'm just saying she sounds like a cool artist. S no, seriously, you guys go. Have fun. Clearly, I'm the only one who needs to actually work today. Ahmed, wait, what's going on? Nothing. I can't do this right now, Mira. It's getting late. No, we have to talk about this. I don't care about the exhibition. What's going on with you? I can't help you if you don't tell me. Don't talk down to me. I'm not one of the kids in your class. Is this about going to the exhibition? Or is this about Rav? Why would this be about ravioli? Oh, clearly you're upset about something. You don't want me to go to the exhibition? I didn't say that. You don't have to miss out on something because of my work schedule. <laughs> Even if you don't respect it. Why isn't this goddamn elevator coming? 
You don't like me hanging out with Rav? Why do you keep bringing up Rav? I'm the one who told you to show him around. He's your friend, Amit. I was just trying to... Mira, don't come down. Seriously, I told you I don't have time for this. Well, make time. Ever since Rav got here, you've been... I've been what? I'm trying to build us the life we... It's, it's not Rav and I against you. Certainly seems like it. You're some team. Hey, Mira. Morning. Hey, Amit. Morning, how are you? But if you want to know, Amit, Rav and I have talked about you. Like how our meeting in the library wasn't an accident. What? Have a great day, guys. Have a nice day. See you later, Mira. You too. You know, apparently you saw me at a wedding or something, found out about me. Didn't Rav help you by suggesting you run into me at the library? Why would he bring that up? All I'm saying is that I understand how much effort you put in. Oh. I... Mm Mm-hmm. Just, why wouldn't you tell me about the lengths you went to meet me? It's a sweet thing. I... What? And inflate your ego even more? That sounds like a fantastic idea. I don't think so. That was really rude, Amit. It would have made me feel special to know you cared that much about me. Sorry. Sorry I can't drop everything for all your artsy events, talking about things I don't even understand. It's not about the exhibition. I I couldn't care less. I just wanted to spend some time with you. I... No. We can't be boyfriend, girlfriend forever. What are you talking about? I'm working. Making money. For the both of us. Unless you think you'd be able to afford this lifestyle with your teacher's salary. I gotta go, Mira. That's not fair, Amit. We can talk about this later. Have fun at the exhibition. Hey, you okay? Sorry. I don't think I've ever seen Amit lose it like that. I don't get it. I was just really looking forward to this exhibition. You know what he just said? that I wouldn't be able to afford this life on my teacher's salary. I mean, I get it. He works hard and he's paying the bills for this life we're living. But I never asked for this. And my work is important too. I took time off for my work this week. He's the one who... (sighs) Sorry. This is so embarrassing. I don't think he meant it like that. One of his deals must be in its final stages... You know, it can get pretty ridiculous, stress-wise. I know that, but that doesn't give you a license to be an asshole. God, I told him about this exhibition more than a month ago. Do you know how long it's been since we just went out, just for fun? The thing with these meetings is that you never know how late it'll get. Things come up last minute, and it's hard to leave in the middle of a deal. Okay, but at least you could have told me a few days before. I could have made other plans. Listen, I know it's not ideal, but I'm happy to accompany you. I seriously meant it when I said the artist seems really cool. Who knows, maybe I'll buy you something? Her artwork sounds like it could be a really good investment. It's the latest thing, you know. Everything is about money for you. Okay, but artists need to pay bills, right? I'd be putting my money to a good cause. (sighs) Unbelievable. Thanks, but it's okay. I'm okay to go by myself. But why? I told you this sounds interesting. Not like I got anything else going on tonight. I don't think this is a good idea. Why? You were looking forward to this exhibition, right? Yeah. You bought the tickets. You can't just hand them off to anyone now. I mean, I can try, but yeah. Likely too last minute for anyone I know. So then let's go. It's just that it's it's weird, Rav. What's weird? Forget I said anything. Listen, I'm not sure what's going on, but whatever it is, surely an evening out will help take your mind off of it. Maybe. I haven't been to the AGO in ages. I wouldn't mind checking it out. And we can eat out after. You don't have to do that by dinner. My treat. So we're on? Mira? Mm Mm-mm. Sure, I, I wouldn't mind some company. Yes. You mean good company, right? That's what I meant.